Hey YouTubers, my name is Menno, and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can download and install VMware Player. First off, start up your browser and go to VMware.com and it will ask you for your location. You, just, you can just click it away or click on more options and click on your country. But for this video I'll just... Oh, whoops, sorry about that. Just go back here and do this in English. Uh, when you hover over downloads you can click on player uh, just click on the first download link if you have Windows, if you have Linux you might need one of the other ones if you've got Windows just click on the first one and it will start downloading and once it's done uh, downloading just click on the installation click on yes if you're prompted by Windows for the first screen click on next you have to read through the license agreement and accept it and click on next now for the installation it will automatically install this in your C drive program files x86 VMware VMware player for this video I'm going to change that because I want to install this on my hard drive and not on my solid state drive I'll just install this in this folder right here or create a new folder called VMware and click on OK so it'll install this on my hard drive program files in the folder VMware and just click on next you can leave this on to check for automatic updates on the startup if you don't want to do that just take it off I'll just leave it on for this video and click on next same thing here, help improve VMware player to send anonymous system data and usage statistics to VMware and click on next. This is also your pre uh, personal preference if you want to create a desktop or start menu program folder icon or not. I don't want to put it on my desktop so I'll just take that off and click on next and I just click on continue to continue the installation and this might take a couple of minutes and after it's done installing just hit finish and now when I go to my start menu, it'll be right here, VMware Player. And you can start installing your virtual machines. So, that's it for this video. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you have any questions, please leave your questions in the comment section below. And I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. That's it for this video, and have a nice day.